Hey guys, so I wanted to give a bit of an update on the accessories for this year's Mini Racers Advent Calendar. I've really been praising this year's accessories. Some of them are reused from the Mini Racer tubes, like the Mini Tool Cart, which I don't have with me right now. Others are new molds like this, and others are the cone that we've gotten every single year, which doesn't really deserve much praise, but something cool with them that you can see on the box, but I haven't shown in my videos because I didn't really realize it, is that uh, they're built to hang off of the edge of the track on these little parts that are sticking up. Not that I didn't realize it, I just didn't really think of doing it in my videos. But yeah, you could hang these, of course, these oil cans, or these gas pumps, and the cone off the side, which is going to make a lot more sense when you have more layers to this. I don't think you could do it with a mini tool cart, but uh, like I said, I don't have that with me right now, but maybe I'll show you guys in a later video. But yeah, these will be your ornaments when we build more layers. Overall, pretty solid advent calendar so far. I am a little annoyed with the fact that we keep getting the same sort of things back to back to back, like for four days straight, we just got these track pieces, and for the last four days, we've been getting accessories, but hey, that's how they're formatting it. That's all right. I have way more mini racer duplicates than I know what to do with. That's what you get when you buy nothing but mini racer three packs for years to get the exclusives and cars that you've missed because your stores don't carry the blind boxes. And with all the mini racer duplicates I've had, I often try to think a little outside of the box when it comes to what customs I turn them into. With so many duplicates, I have so many options. Typically, I'm pretty, I guess you'd say stingy when it comes to what I try to do with my duplicate 155 scale cars you know i always try to do ones that i know i'll use for videos with the sheer amount of spare minis i have i oftentimes just make fun ones based on really obscure things i try to be really creative and pick obscure things and oftentimes just make joke mini customs like the thanos mater i reviewed a few days back which brings us to this one right here this is a mini racers lightning mcqueen based off of the kerchu meme yeah yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure this is actually an idea one of my viewers had on a live stream. I'm pretty sure. I don't usually take viewer suggestions for customs, but I thought this was just a funny one and I had to do it. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another review and to day 11 of 25 Days of Suggestions 2023. Before we take a look at the Kerchu Mini Racer McQueen custom suggested by Polish Toy Gamer 14, we have to open up today in the advent calendar of course and huge thank you to polish toy gamer for suggesting this car really great one this and the thanos mater i was so excited to get mini custom suggestions this year and i'm super excited that the random name picker has chosen both of them door 11 here is going to be another accessory let's see what we got barrels woo woo barrels yeah so once again these are pretty similar in mold to ones that come in some of those mini racer uh tube packs for on the road from last year but again they're built to uh hang off the edge of the tree here wow look they're almost perfectly to scale wow i really hope we have something more exciting tomorrow oh there we go there we go see it looks like we'll probably begin our next building tomorrow flows please 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 it's been accessories for four days give us something else yeah there are barrels again super happy to have these accessories in mini racer scale compared to past years where we would get 155 scale barrels. Great to see these in scale with the minis. And look, you can see that they are in fact in scale with the minis right here, live now. Woo. Anyway, put that off to the side. And let's take a closer look at this guy. Of course, the cartoon meme is just a stupid edit that moves McQueen's eyes to his headlights and makes his, uh, his windshield sort of blank, sort of like how a lot of older cartoon cars have been depicted over the years and uh that's it that that's the entire deal so i just whited out mcqueen's eyes and just you know drew his eyes here over his headlights i think it looks really funny i really really like how it looks out how it looks uh, how it turned out uh there is just his smile without the eyes to distract you there's the full package wonderful i uh, was gonna give it another coat of white i probably still will someday but yeah, I made this live on a stream, and people seem to think it was really funny. Other than that, it is just your typical McQueen mini racer. Really nothing special. And because I didn't do any editing or painting or customizing at all on any other part of him, because again, the meme is just... It's just an edited image of McQueen. Just a really funny thing that I thought would be fun to do. Rusty's logo there on the back. There is a look at the other side with the Rusty's medicated bumper ointment logo and his rookie stripes and all that. 
course, we got all the secondary sponsors on him. His nice light your tires. And finally, there is a look at the base. Not much to say about this guy, because again, most of him is just a typical Mini McQueen. But he's one of my personal favorite Mini Racer customs. Definitely not one of the best ones I've done, but one of the most creative ones I've done. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you once again to Polish Joy Gamer for the suggestion. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for day 12, where we'll be joined by a, uh, a visitor. Y you know who we're talking about. Yeah. Creepy Santa arrives tomorrow. Bye now. Thank you.